Hey guys, welcome back. Axeman0112 back for another series. We've been gone a little bit. We did the Borderlands, Borderlands 2. We're doing Dying Light, doing my first playthrough. And I did one little quick mission into this game so far because I forgot to hit record because I'm a huge dumb animal. But we're pretty much right at the beginning. We're in this zone post apocalyptic zombie infested area uh, we're in some apartment building hooking up with these people and we're trying to earn their trust uh, so far we did one mission helped them out so they're giving us another job to do hopefully to let us hang out and chill and eat their food and drink their stuff so let's let's get going here we need to meet Raheem on the tower roof I heard a lot of good things about this game. That's why I wanted to check it out. Um, I hear they're coming up with a sequel, but have not, don't know for sure. But so far I'm digging it, man. The first little bit I got to play was pretty cool. So we're gonna check it out. Anytime you can shoot zombies in the face, it's a good time. All right, we gotta find our way to the roof. Let's see what's in here. kind of cool too you collect supplies craft stuff it's like a survival type of thing kind of dig it okay I gotta go up these stairs what kind of stupid question is this okay let's see what's in here I'm trying to find the stairs gotta go up Try to get up all the way to the roof. All right, looks like we're here. What up, y'all? It's a nice day in the shitland zombie world. Our little buddy, he's been giving us our missions here. Parkour basics, hold, press. Uh, okay. Okay. Got to feel right at home. A crane on a crane. Crane on a crane. Supposed to go up here. I don't know if I dig this. Ooh. That was my ankle. That snapping sound. <coughs> Try it again. Okay. Meet Rahim on the other building. So I gotta walk across this mofo? Holy moly, don't look down. Don't look down. Just do it. Just do it. Alright, let's walk. We're just gonna walk. Raheem should get a swift dick punch too for making us do this. Just have a chat with him. It's not cool. There he is. Hey prick. Welcome to our gym. First things first, you've got to learn how to run. What do you mean, learn how to run? Just do what I say, alright? Now, jump down to the very bottom. Are you nuts? I'd kill myself. Don't be a wimp. He's smoking that stuff. Come on, you can't be serious. Watch this. Woohoo! 
Raheem! My leg! Jesus, don't move! I'll get help! Uh, I was just fucking with you. Huh. Son of a bitch! What, what a jerk. You can't take a joke? Come on! Get your ass down here! Christ on a crutch. Get your ass down here. There we go. Oh Holy my. Shit. Holy shit! I know a bunch of trash. Nice. But don't blow your load just yet. I'll blow my load when I'm getting ready. To survive outside, buddy. you got to take advantage of the terrain. Most eaters suck at climbing. So the harder the terrain is, the better for you. I've got some typical situations to set up for you. Let's see how you handle them. Okay. Put me through the ringer, Raheem. Sometimes it's better to crawl through the low, narrow passages. Eaters will have a tough time following you. Eaters? Nice. Try not to slow down once you start running. Outside, if you stop, you're probably dead. Oh, shit. Not bad. For a noob. For a noob. Got it. Good job. Okay, time for the real test. Get back to the crane. Make use of anything and everything while you run. While we run, eh? a negative right there. It's definitely a negative. I'm not going to make that. So, Rose. I gotta get to this uh, stack of stuff behind me, maybe? That thing? A little bit more. Damn, got it. Parkour, yo. Hardcore parkour. Make it back okay, to the crane. That's enough. Make it back you to the crane. Thanks, bro. Either that, or you 
you've done this before. You've done this before? Come on, man. I'm a new. The of this was running track in high school. <laughs> well, then you're a fucking prodigy. Never seen anything like it. Dr. Rahim. Rahim, my friend. Oh. to be having a seizure. Not at all. Yeah, bro. I got the seizures, Raheem. Raheem, what the fuck was that? Does this mean I'm, I'm turning? Most likely no. At least not yet. Seizures remind you that you're infected. You better go see Dr. Zera, though. He'll check you out, probably give you a shot of Anderson. Before you head out to see Zera, talk to the quartermaster. He'll uh, gear you up so you can go outside without getting your head bitten off. Alright. Use the elevator to get to the ground floor. Can do. job and nobody suspects I'm not who I say I am so far so good and once dr. Zara helps me manage these symptoms I'm dealing with I'll be even better let's find dr. Zara then that seems like uh, the thing to do bros Doctor, give me something for the scissors, bro. I got the shakes. He's gonna hook me up with some gear. Oh, you're the new scout. Rahim radioed me about you. Yeah, that's me. Name's Crane. I'm not gonna bother learning your name till you survive a few days. All right, bro. Here, I guess we're friends now, huh? You. By the way. Word around the tower is you're just another deadbeat in line for food or antizin. By which I mean, the people here don't much like you. But don't blame them. It's easy to get paranoid when you're isolated. And since somebody's jamming communications to the outside, there's plenty of paranoia to go around. Whole damn city with nobody to call for help but ourselves. You bring me some supplies from the airdrops, though. And you'll see people change their tunes in a hurry. That shit's a game changer. Uh, thanks. I'll bear that in mind. Listen, is there anything else? I'm in a bit of a rush. Also, if you're looking to get more popular, you can try helping folks. Do a few favors. They might like you more. Might even find a woman. Keep your Find a woman. Hey. Alright, what do you give me? A water pipe? 
Damage. Okay, it's got some stats on it. We'll take that. Shit, we'll take all of it. If it's free, it's for me. Is this the dock? No, but he's got some sweet chops on him. Sweet chops. Let's go find a dock tour. What about the biters? Are they alive or not? What up, guys? Just passing through, seeing what's going on. Going downstairs. Going outside, yeah. Okay, new guy. Be careful out there. We've lost too many already. set up in a semi-trailer on a fenced-in plane court. When you leave the tower, hang a left and head due south. You can't miss it. It's Crane, kid. All right, all right. Crane. Just keep moving. There's no time to take in the sights. And try not to make too much noise. Sound attracts those fuckers. Mm. All right there, bro. I'm trying to come to you. How about I help a brother out? Where's your front door at? Try to eat my ass. Let me open the door, prick. Doctor? Hello? Anybody there? Captain, are you there? Damn it. Uh, so, I'm supposed to get a vaccine? What? No, no. Suppressant. It's called antizen. Suppresses the symptoms. Here, sit. Antizen postpones the inevitable. Best the GRA could do. Inevitable? So, th there's no cure? It's a variation of rabies. There's no cure right now. But you see, I've been running tests on both antizen and infected tissue. A cure is possible. Definitely possible. Oh, shit. You really think you can figure it out? With Dr. Camden's help, yes. I think so. Uh, where did I put that injector? Well, who's Dr. Camden? A colleague trapped in Sector Zero, where the outbreak first, well, broke out. We've been collaborating via radio, though we would have made more progress if the connection were better. Also, if my earlier experiments had borne fruit, I tried injecting recombined versions of the virus into chunks of meat and leaving them around the city. 
hoping some of the infected would eat them so I could observe and document the results. But they didn't? Uh, it bore no fruit. I'm ashamed that I wasted so much time on it. No reason to hold any antizenin reserve now. In any case, all right, I'm quite busy, so on your way now. What was I doing? Okay, we got our shot. Hey, Zero checked me out and gave me another shot. Okay, great. Right, now I'll hold you for a while, which is good, because I'm starting to get used to the idea of bossing you around. So, time for a real trial. Go talk to Spike. You'll find him near Zeta's truck. He's got the first real job for you. Spike, eh? This looks like Spike. Hey, friend. Look like Wolverine. Ranked up, let's see. Yeah, skill points suspend. Select one of the skill trees to spend your points. Roger Dodger, survivor rank. Power, agility, I like agility. Oh wait, I have to spend it in Survivor. Requires <laughs> level 2. Learn how to craft the most basic things needed for survival. Lockpicks, firecrackers, simple throwing stars, Molotov cocktails. Let's do it. Okay. I guess I randomly find supplies or what to build this stuff. Hey Spike. I'm nice, Spike. It's just what I need. More unskilled labor. All right, shut up and pay attention. There are two types of airdrops. One is food, first aid supplies, survival gear and such. The other kind is filled with antizen. The GRE sends in a one-way video feed that lets us know when they're on the way. Look, the trouble is, the airdrops with Anderson keep getting raided by Rise's thugs. And without Anderson, we're basically screwed. Rise and his boys only operate during the day, because going out after dark is a dandy way to get killed. But the next two Anderson drops are coming down right at sunset tonight, and Brecken means to go after them. This may be our only chance to reach the airdrop. What's my part here? Well, as I said, going out at night is basically suicide. Or it would be if I hadn't been setting up safe zones and traps out there for weeks now. Which I have. Now, Breck and his team will be okay tonight, so long as you get out there now and arm those traps. That's your part. All right. What are these traps, and how do I arm them? You'll see. I'll be talking you through it. Just remember, without these traps, Brecken won't survive the night. And if he doesn't come back with Antizen, we are lost. Before you head out there, grab some firecrackers. Made them myself. They make a fine distraction if you get in trouble. All right. Will do, sir. Prepare a trap for Brecken's mission. Looting is the key to survival. Search dead bodies, chests, abandoned cars, pieces of furniture, and even trash bins to find crafting components, weapons, money. Hold X to use your survivor sense to identify objects you can loot. Okay.
Alright, prepare a trap for Brecken's mission. Just a run and run. First, the car. Open the hood, connect the battery, that'll arm the trap. Jade here. Is anyone outside right now? Urgent help needed. Um, I'm outside, working for Spike. You're great, right? Listen, our runners tried to secure one of our safe houses for Brecken's mission. He's in a courtyard by Zephyr and Mimar, surrounded by zombies. We gotta help him. All right, I'm on it. Help trap survivor. No flux. Climb? I don't think they can climb. That's a good thing. See in that window? What do we got here? Metal parts. You dead? Check the collectibles, go to inventory tab, play your menu and press square. What I get? Was that just nothing? to secure it. Oh, get up there. Dawes, that'll come in handy. No energy bar action. Survivor. Okay, Jade, I'm here, along with some infected. Watch yourself, Crane. Bucks off your ass? Why does a zombie need money? Oh man, I think it's too late for this guy. Oh. Shit. Alright. Finish it. Just don't let him suffer. Okay, it's done. Fuck. 
You had no choice. He wasn't human anymore. Now hurry. You still need to turn on the lights. That's the only way to make this place safe at night. Turn a power on to unlock the safe zone. Let there be light. Ah, oh, shit. Got to the building. Got the lights okay. on? Uh, almost. Just give me a second. Inventory man. Did I not get everything? Storage. Take all items not occupying backpack slots. Lockpick action. And that's it. Let's go do this and then we'll wrap it up for this episode. Let's get to the building's roof and contact GRE. Where's the map? Okay, this building over here. Alright, gotta get 
to the roof. The roof. Uh, Pick a lock, move the pin with L, rotate the screwdriver with the right stick to turn the lock. If the pin begins to vibrate, it might break. Don't force it. Contact GRE. Green here. Report. Okay, I met this doctor, scientist type. They've got him set up in a sort of research trailer and he's working on a cure for the virus. His name is Zara. Hello? Do you copy? Affirmative. Secondary objective added. Maintain your cover and secure all of his research. Acknowledge. Your stolen file still takes top priority though, right? Affirmative. We find it unlikely that a single researcher working out of a trailer could produce any significant results. But if he does, we want to see it. Jade, it's done. Good. We'll need to prepare more places like that one. We've got more spots picked out for future safe zones. Spike will mark them on your map later. And Crane, thank you. Back well, to you, Spike. Down there. Right now, you need to get back to our main task and arm the next trap. There's another car close by. Got it. Okay, we have our next assignment, but we're going to end this episode right now, guys. Thanks for part one, for hanging out. Comment, like, subscribe, share with your friends. Let me know how bad I suck, what I can do to get better. Anything's helpful, man, comment. I appreciate it, man. You guys can check me out on Twitch, Twitter, Facebook, uh, Instagram, Axeman0112. Thanks again. See you in the next one. Bye.